many of the facts have being portrayed are either inaccurate or are being contested and paint a misleading picture of our activities as board members. I take my duty to the people very seriously and would never knowingly or, in, or intentionally speak, spend hackless money outside the agency's <coughs> rules and policies. As I think we all are, I'm gratified that staff is diligently reviewing our expenses to ensure that every dime we spend is spent according to the rules. When we make an oversight with regard to expenses, I believe staff has a duty to call on us for us to rectify the situation as quickly as possible. To that end, I welcome the independent review now underway by the city controller's office. I would call on every person in the agency, staff, and commissioners um, to cooperate with the review and once it's complete, to heed its findings in ways that benefit the people we serve. In the meantime, we all need to appreciate that some of these expenses are not as cut and dry as some may make them out to be. For example, <coughs> I am being asked to reimburse the agency for two conferences I attended in my capacity as a HACLA commissioner. More than a year after the fact, I'm being asked to write a check for thousands of dollars because according to the letters I received this weekend, the <coughs> conference was not approved as having a direct connection my duties as a Catholic commissioner. Forgive me for appearing confused, but I only went because I was asked directly and personally by the president and CEO to attend both conferences on behalf of HACLA because they related directly to my duties as a HACLA commissioner. In this case, the conference in question dealt with understanding the complex financial tools needed for the redevelop redevelopment of Jordan Downs. So I understand that we should pay for items like cocktails, toiletries, that we might inadvertently charge while on official HACLA business. I'm already, I've already written a check to HACLA for those amounts, and I believe other commissioners have done so as well. But I think we all need greater clarification from staff on some of these trips. We cannot be asked to take trips on behalf of HACLA, leaving behind our jobs and families, only to discover a year later that we are on the hook for the cost. If the trips aren't relevant, don't ask us to take them in the first place. If they are relevant, HACLA should pay for them according to the agency's rules. If we or anyone in HACLA break those rules, even inadvertently, we must make it right. I think tonight's actions will help clarify those rules and remind everyone what they are so we can operate in the transparent, efficient, and above board <coughs> way I think all of us believe HACLA should.